speaker and we are good. All right, good, good morning everybody. As Robin Wilson with SCP Agency and um, for everybody except for Greg, we all have our quarantine here going on. Um, Greg, Greg takes care of his own, so we're good with that. We have uh, Jamie Rainey with uh, Clemens Atumwa Toyota Ford in Atumwa, Iowa, and Greg McCoy with McCoy Enterprises. If you, Jamie, if you say hello and kind of uh, give everybody your background. Yeah, hello, good morning, Facebook world. Um, I'm Jamie Rainey, and I originally started in the car business back in 2001. I actually started as a filing clerk, and I have worked my way up in the auto industry over the past, I guess, 19 years now. And I am the GM for Clemens, Toyota, Ford, Lincoln. And I almost want to say Mercury, because that's how long I've been doing this. So <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of like rolls. So, but yeah, I'm happy to be here today. That's fantastic. And Greg McCoy, say hello and tell everybody who you are. Sure. Uh, Greg McCoy with uh, now McCoy Enterprises. I've been in the automotive industry since uh, the mid 90s, 1985. Uh, in the sales side, the retail side, uh, for the most part, the last 25 years, I was the general manager of car dealerships, so underperforming car dealerships. Uh, some that were in trouble, and some that just were underperforming. They were they're profitable, but they wanted to improve their processes. And uh, for the last four years, uh, I've had McCoy Enterprises, which is a consulting company that goes out and works with dealerships around the country to help improve processes, marketing strategies, uh, whole ideas to make them profitable, uh, relative uh, relevant in their own community and, and, and ways to make them profitable in the way they work. I've been doing that full time for the last two years. Cool. So one of the things that I want to talk about today is uh, social media. And so Jamie and I and Greg and I have worked together for years on a bunch of different levels. Um, Jamie um, with uh, three different dealerships. And I know that you guys have some insight as to how you feel about social media being integrated with your dealerships and um, what value that brings to the table. Jamie, go ahead. Sure. Um, one of the biggest things that whenever I came to the Toyota store was they hadn't made a Facebook post since 2017. So we started off with doing the Epic sales and I was really, really worried about how this was going to react in the community because we hadn't had a social media president presence so we did our first sell it turned out great it was kind of like having a birthday party for your kid and you didn't know if anybody was going to show up but they showed up and that just goes to show how we did sell after sell after sell and then we ended up bringing on social climber full time because we just didn't want the epic sell we wanted the full package and then to layer on the epic sell on top of that too i mean it's not like your typical mailer that you don't know you can actually watch you guys engage with the customers i mean it's just an all-around experience and probably one of my favorite things about social climber is those girls and guys have dug in the trenches too they know what it's like to be in the car dealership and they know how important these leads are and our customers are to us. So that's our first impression is either the engagement on social media or picking up the phone and saying hello. It's all on how you present yourself. So it's, it's working out really, really well for us. We didn't just sign one store. We're, we're going to cover, cover all of Iowa. So we've got all the stores going full blast with social climber and, I can't tell you right now, it's probably our best lead source that we have. Nice. Good to hear. Greg? Well, I think that uh, obviously I've been associated with Social Climber through uh, recommendations to other dealers. And the last dealership I, I actually was a general manager at, it was a very important part of what we did. But uh, I, I'll be honest, the, the real thing that has really appealed to me over the last six weeks or so, and, and Rob and I had some discussions, I went out because I had a lot of uh, questions from a lot of dealers that were calling me and asking me, hey, listen, what's going on? What should we do? Uh, what's happening in the industry? How should we mark ourselves for being shut down? How do, how, do we, how do we get out there and get our name out and still be relevant? And so I started doing research. Uh, and I'm going to get off track here a little bit with, uh, with Robin, but I actually went and checked out several of the competitors out there too and several other digital 
sources because here's what I found out. Everybody is on Facebook right now. It has grown. The audience has grown on Facebook many fold over. So everybody's either watching TV or doing Facebook or doing both. In the most cases, doing both. Watching TV while they're Facebooking. And so right. what, I, what I found was there's this captive audience. So then I started looking at all these companies, and I'm not going to name them. There's several companies out there that obviously uh, do digital marketing and, and social media marketing. And so I looked at each company and what the, the pros and cons were. And while there's a lot of good companies, what really – intrigues me about what social climber pro does that's unique and sets it apart from everybody else is this they've developed a program right now for a captive audience for a lot less expense than you are on radio or tv or email or anything like that but here's the here's the big things that are different than them and the competition is they have a notification team that responds to each and every single comment review good or bad as a representation of you. In other words, if you're ABC Motors and you start commenting on some posts, there is a, a feedback coming from a live person 365 days of the year that uh, enables that person to feel like they're connecting with somebody. So it creates that engagement process, which nobody else is doing. Everybody else, what they're doing is just doing the cookie cutter standard stuff. But uh, with SCP, they have live people actually interacting with your customers and having conversations with them. The other thing I liked about it was they do more than just ads. Everybody just put ad after ad after ad, which honestly turns off a lot of people. Uh, if, you dig, if you dig into what SCP does, they do little silly engagement things like, what's your dog's uh, first name? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's your favorite pizza? And while that may sound silly, what happens is it creates this engagement where people, it grows out of the audience. So when you do have a, the offer to serve up, and Robin's better at telling this. I'm just a layman's conversation with this from a, from a car guy point of view. What happens is, is those people engage with you. And so when you go in the ads, all of a sudden, now instead of talking to a thousand people, you may be talking to six, 7,000 people who have engaged because of the fun little ads that you put out there. And right. so what I've found is that impact is so great. We're seeing big results and big conversations that are happening where nobody else is doing that. If, if you put a post out, all those other companies are expecting you as a dealership to take care of it, which means you've got to hire two or three people just to handle all the conversations that are going on. Whereas there, there's a, it's encompassing all that. It creates it was the graphics, the ads, the people, the notification team, all those people have that conversation on behalf of you as, as a customer. I, I would appreciate that value. And it's real people, as Jamie said, who have had experience in the car industry. So you're not talking about people who don't understand the car industry. Industry. they do that's a good part about what Robin employs well and as you could hear like we're all working from home so my dog is in part of my office so you have to ignore that please know that we are doing our job to flatten the curve and one of the things that um, is really important that Greg didn't touch on is that our elite response team I know, our elite response team is uh, 365 days a year 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you cannot hire a staff that's going to cover those notifications and that live communication mm -hmm. with your audience, um, especially with the level of experience that my team has, and keep that covered, like no matter what, calling in sick, not there, whatever, because we have over 30 employees that are just there to serve that automatic that automotive industry and jamie do you ever worry that scp isn't taking care of your customers at your level absolutely not i can tell you i was sitting at home on easter i mean none of our family or anything was here and i actually got a response from you about a customer needing help so there is no way no way i mean the owner of the company is actually texting me on easter wanting to help this customer. So I'm just like, where else would I go to get this kind of service? I wouldn't. Well, and that's, it's funny because I don't generally cover notifications, but I gave, <laughs> I gave my team the day off on Easter and myself and my business partner, we had yeah. all notifications for everybody. And um, I have the utmost respect for that team because I, I, I mean, I, because we do get back in there and know what they have to deal with. And if you're talking about dozens of dealerships, and mm -hmm. uh, we generally have more than two people on staff at a time working these. And um, it was a bit, luckily it was a little bit light on Easter. So it wasn't <laughs> that big of a deal. There was a lot of people chattering, but on a normal day, it's crazy. There's no way that Beverly and I yeah. can that. Um, and so let's talk about, um, so I know you have a robust BDC, Jamie, and that's I do. a ton. Um, but do you really need the elite response team? Couldn't your BDC just handle it? Absolutely not. Um, I solely believe that you guys are so focused on 
what you guys do best and we do best at one thing too. So there's, you can't multitask this stuff. I mean, you guys get to capture the information, the email, the phone number, everything that we need. They don't have time to sit there and do that. They're supposed to be making their dials, either sending out their text messages. So by the time you guys get all this information from the customer, it's, it's, it's already a given. The time set, they're coming in. The only thing our BDR does is follow up with the customer to make sure that they're on their way or let them know, hey, we, we have this slot open or whatever it is. But yeah, you guys already have everything set up for us. We don't have to worry about the appointments that you guys are setting. I mean, they're focused on the leads that are actually coming in from our squeeze page or from Toyota's website, those other stuff. So it's just another layer on the cake that makes everything so much easier for us. I agree. Yeah. Greg, you want to expand on that? Yeah, I think I think so. I think one of the things that I noticed, and maybe you may expand further, was uh, because of how you guys engage with the customer. So let's say you put an ad out that says, "What's your favorite kind of pizza? What's your what's your favorite dog's first name?" Right. And those, again, those sound silly, and, and we can go into a deeper dive if anybody's really interested in understanding why this works. But you don't want to type a BDR or anybody in the BDC in a car dealership with eighty percent of that eighty percent of the conversations you're having are answering responses oh yeah that's a great name snoopy i love that name that's my favorite name. you don't need a bdr tied up with that no. what i love about scp what scp does is so 80 let's say on average you're having 150 conversations a day per dealership that are 80 percent of those are not really tender carbine they haven't gone down the funnel far enough they're just engaging because they're getting in on on the fun or the contest or whatever going on on the just the social media side of it so what SCP does is filters that out of the way from the car dealership. Doesn't consume hourly employees from a car dealership that consumes to answer that. And it takes down to the, the 15 or 20% that says, hey, listen, this is all great, but I'd like to talk about 90, day pay, 90 days to first payment or right. the 0% interest for 72. At that point, what happens is SCP converts that over to lead with an email phone number that says, no problem, can we have somebody from the dealership directly reach out to you? And what happens is it, fil it serves as a filtering system that, that you can't afford. It would literally take two to three VDRs per dealership to cover those kind of hours. And quite honestly, it may, again, I say it sounds silly, but those, those are the things that grow your audience. Because then all of a sudden, the people that you're being silly with about the favorite dog name or the favorite pizza right now, two weeks from now or three weeks from now or a month from now, because they're in the news feed getting regular offers that are being served up every three or four offers, now they're in the market. So you know what? Now's the time to cap. Uh, capitalize on this and what's happened is you haven't tied up your BDRs that's what makes SCP unique no I, I challenge my car dealer friends out there and I've looked myself find somebody else out there that's doing that and doing it for the cost efficiency that SCP does Quite honestly I don't know how she's made the math work all these years but she's kind of explained to me that they have several dealerships per you know per account rep that can handle more than one so it makes the math makes sense because Honestly, it doesn't, it, in my mind, it didn't, but obviously they don't have downtime. They're constantly working with several different dealers at one time. So uh, to answer your question, it really does filter. And what, so what the dealership's getting is the pure leads that are way further down the funnel, the funnel that has the intention of buying a car. So. Right, and so how that works, let me explain really quick, is the Facebook algorithm wants you to take an action, right? So they read every action that you take when you're engaging with either your fr family and friends and they go, oh, you like these 10 friends the best, great. Let's show you everything that they're doing. Well, the same thing happens with a business page. So if I can get them to engage with the page, I don't care how, if I can get them to engage with the page, which means um, a like, a comment or a share or a tag, whatever, any of those things is like an electronic hand raise to Facebook that like ticks the algorithm and says, they like this content, push this into their newsfeed. Because we don't really care, and not, not, not that we don't care, but our main focus is not what does your Facebook page look like? Our main focus is that our content is pulling into everybody's newsfeed so that they get a chance to engage with it again. If you don't engage with a friend or a business page for a long time, you'll see that you're, you think maybe they've dropped off the face of the earth, but they haven't. Facebook just stops serving that up to you and stops putting it in your newsfeed because you kind of, by your lack of activity, you have said, this is not that important to me. And so our job is to find those pieces of content that people will engage with, they will comment. Yes, I hate pepperoni on pizza, it's the worst. You guys are stupid that you like pepperoni on pizza. Or, oh my God, pepperoni on pizza, oh, 
you know, it's, it's one of those things where um, we're trying to get them to make an electronic decision on Facebook to do something so that whenever we post a, a, a new vehicle post the next day, if you engaged with my page today, tomorrow, and I post this new vehicle post tomorrow, you're going to get that in your news feed because you told Facebook you're interested in what we're serving up. So push everything over there. And so our job is to every couple of days create a new engaging post so that we can get the stuff we want into your news feed. And so that's kind of how the organic version of that works. And we do our best. We're constantly looking to see what works. If it works here, great. Put it on that page, that page, and that page. Let's see if it works in those audience, in those markets too. And it doesn't always. You know, it doesn't always translate from market to market. So every market behaves differently. And it's our job to find that sweet spot, whether it's in El Paso or it's in Iowa or it's in Texas somewhere. It doesn't matter. In Arizona, it doesn't matter. We're trying to find what do those people connect with and then dig deep there. It, and it works. I'm telling you, it, it, uh, again, I'm amazed at, again, I'm not a Facebook fanatic personally. I'm just not, that's not my world, but I can tell you that, uh, on a business level, I've seen this work over and over and over. And I can tell you by firsthand experience that I have this in over a dozen dealerships that I work with. And, um, the most fascinating part about it was, uh, uh, it, I knew it worked before, but even more so now, right. the impact that it's having because you have this captive audience. I can't emphasize this enough. If you just use logic, people are not listening to the radio. You don't go home and listen to the radio. So people aren't driving back and forth to work right now. So they're spending a ton of time on Facebook. And uh, if you have a compelling engagement message and then you fall followed up with some offers and some ads, we're seeing business. And I can tell you, I, I'm familiar with Jamie's stores in Iowa. There's, th there's three stores up, and every one of them have been on this new program within the last month and have seen astronomical results in a down period. So, yes. and, I, and I'll be on, go one step further. When Rob and I first started talking about this over a month ago, my thought process wasn't that we'd see immediate inter impact. The thought was that we'd start, how do you have low cost, uh, marketing strategy for that when this breaks that your audience has grown bigger and my thought was uh, you're gonna get this this is really gonna pay off in June July August September that's when it's gonna really pay because you've grown this audience when you come out with these big campaigns but the truth is is we're seeing results now mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of the that's ice cream cake. It, it's not that I, I gotta be honest with you it blows me away because I didn't think that was gonna happen I, I'm setting everybody up say hey listen look for your results in June July August but as Jamie says we're She's seen results. I know her sister store, uh, you know, an hour away has seen tremendous results. In fact, have an opportunity to have a record month this month in, in, a, in a stay at home work type deal. So I'm just saying, and you know, I'm seeing this over and over and over again. Uh, people are out there. They're getting the stimulus checks. They're wanting to spend their money. They're wanting to find ways, a safe way. We want to do a safe way yeah, exactly. of creating. That's why these appointments are set up. But people are interacting through, through Facebook. So it's all safe and, and in accordance with the guidance by the uh, government on how to handle customers. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for something right now to have that captive audience, nothing is going to reach people more captive than this right now. And uh, I encourage you uh, to click that like button below or comment button or get requests with Robin but, and reach out or reach out to me. Uh, I'll be glad to sit down and talk to anybody about it at Greg at GregMcCoy.com, or you guys can call me. I'll, I'll, we'll put the number up there on, on the post, but you guys are welcome to reach out to me through phone or text. But And I and I'm actually, because I go with my dealers, I go into a, about a 20, 30 minute um, demonstration of how this actually works. It helps Robin right now because I know they're overwhelmed, but I can tell you that on average, we're getting two or three dealers a day uh, interested in this and signing up for this. So it's, it's a very impactful program for your business right now that's that's captive and it really is a good product for you guys. I agree. So we will have the link below for you guys to get in contact with it and I will also drop uh, Greg's phone number and email address in there too if you want to reach out to him and I'll even drop Jamie's info in there. Um, yeah, she'll absolutely. Testimonial from her. She'll be glad to do that for you guys and my dog's going to bark again if I don't get off of her. So <laughs> you guys have a great day and go move some metal. All right. Have a nice day. See you guys. Y'all have a good day. Keep safe. All right.